Well, experts warn this local neighborhood will keep getting flooded unless the city gets a handle on its drainage system. New at 530, 10 News reporter Travis Rice explains how one group tracking erosion believes they know how to solve the problem. It's all got to go somewhere. It's picking up a lot of erosion and sediment. But when it's going, it's taking a lot more than just storm water. The problem is, cumulatively, it's clogging those storm drains. Maple Canyon is located near I-5 and Laurel Street in Bankers Hill. Nonprofit San Diego Canyonlands says these carved up trails directly correlate to the problems on roads around the harbor. And that results in flooding when the pipes are no longer transporting the water down into San Diego Bay, but they're clogged and the flow comes right out of the inlets and floods the street. Canyon Lands Director Eric Bulby presented in front of City Council Tuesday. The nonprofit is applying for $2 million in federal disaster relief funds. How easy of a fix is this? San Diego Canyonlands has consultants that have proposed to install about 23 grade controls to stop the sediment flow. The group believes they are close to approval for the government money that would pay for their planned modifications, but they say each time it rains, it's a reminder. If we don't get this done, that's going to be continued sediment winding up on Pacific Coast Highway from Maple Canyon via the storm drain system and interrupting traffic flow and destinations to the airport and other businesses down in uh, Bankers Hill being impacted routinely. Travis Rice, 10 News. Now, Kenyon Land says the funds should be approved by this summer.